Good morning. I got back last night from my trip to Doug and Stacy's off-grid homestead. And you know, traveling can take a toll on you. So the first thing that's hitting my stomach this morning is a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in my filtered water. Apple cider vinegar has a very cleansing effect and you know, traveling in airports, you're around a lot of people, you're packed in for hours in an airplane, and the best thing to do after a trip is to clean up and clean out. <laughs> Mm, that's good. I happen to use Bragg's and you want to always get the apple cider vinegar that's organic and that has the mother, you know, the um, particles in the bottom and always shake it up before you pour out your teaspoon. My trip to Doug and Stacy's was amazing in so many ways. First of all, three days of great conversation, delicious food, and they loaded me up with great information and advice, which uh, yeah, I think you'll be seeing in my channel in the coming months. But the most important thing is we shot videos. I will be working on my videos this week. I don't edit on the road. But Doug shot a video the second day I was there and uploaded it yesterday morning before I'd even left. And since then I've picked up quite a number of new subscribers. So this video is really for you because you don't know anything about me and you're just coming to my channel. And I just wanted to uh, kind of tell you how my channel uh, evolved and where we're at right now. In 2012, I had an idea for a web series, and I have an entertainment uh, background, and so I wanted to make a show, and it was very, very new in 2012. You could hardly find an example of to follow on YouTube, but I created Late Bloomer because I had an epiphany in 2012 to grow my own food in my tiny yard in Los Angeles. I'd been here a long time, but I never considered growing my own food. And I had a parkway tree that died out in the parkway, which is the property between the street and the sidewalk, which is technically owned by the city. I was trying to save it, and I was out there digging in the dirt, and you, you'll see all this if you go back to Season 1, Episode 1, Welcome to Late Bloomer. I explain how it all happened. So I proceeded with a show of episodes 20 a year for four years. And in my fourth year, my fourth season, I started to think, well, 80 episodes is enough, but I wanted to keep going. So I went all the way to 100 episodes. I have five seasons. I had a whole production, post-production team of editor, composer, uh, motion graphics artist, and uh, sound editor. In 2016, uh, YouTube analytics, you know, algorithms changed and they were encouraging vlogging and they wanted more videos. And so between 2016 and 2017, there was a huge shift on my channel. And you can see that it's very apparent if you look at my older videos, you think, well, why do they have the jingle and the bloopers and the whole show-like format? And now they're more like vlogs. And that's why. I started vlogging first on my phone in 2016 and editing on my phone. Within a few months, I got frustrated with the limits of the uh, editing software on the phone and I went to a professional software. So you will even see between 2016 and, two, and now, you'll see a big difference in the quality of my videos. In fact, my very first video, the file is only about 300 megabytes and the files for my videos now are over three gigs. So <laughs> it's just crazy, the difference in the quality. I created 100 episodes between 2012 and 2017 called Late Bloomer. I started vlogging in 2016, so I had an, a year that overlapped, and between 2016 and the present day, I've created 300 more videos. So 
I want to welcome all of my new subscribers. I'm so happy you came. I think you'll find a lot of interesting content. I travel a lot and I visit other gardens, both public and private, because I know a lot of people can't travel and I just feel like it would be interesting to see what other people are doing and what other cities are offering in terms of their botanical gardens and and all that. So you can find a, all of that on my channel. Plus I started a cooking <laughs> playlist last year and I've got about 10 videos on there. I started cooking from my garden. You know, everything is motivated from what I've grown. And a popular playlist that I have is Thursday Workday. I got a bad injury in, um, December, I, I got a, uh, let's see, what was it called? Comminuted fracture of the upper humerus, which means this top bone just broke, right, sheared off. And so I was out of commission. I was editing and typing and doing all of the editing software with my left hand. And gardening was out of the question. I did a big project in 2016, setting up my second set of rain barrels. I got the help of Eric, who is a man that works with Renee, and those guys actually were the first ones to help me take out my grass when I very first started the garden in the, at the end of 2011, beginning of the 2012. March of 2016, Eric started working for me on Thursdays a full day. So I was able to accomplish a whole lot more. A new subscriber wrote in the last few days and said, well, I'm glad to see Eric in a video to know that your beautiful garden wasn't just accomplished by myself. And that's true. I am able to do a whole lot more with help than I, that I am without help. And so I'm really grateful that, that I'm able to do that that series and watching Eric has been very popular. So I've got a Thursday workday series. You'll see that on the playlists. Now, while I was gone, we had a heat wave and they had a cold snap. They had a deep freeze the night before I got there. Most of Stacy's vegetables were fried to a crisp. Even though it was a deep freeze, they looked like they'd been torched. We picked uh, the last of her peppers, which was a huge bowl. Let's see can kind of see right there. We're fermenting her peppers in the video that they uploaded. And of course, I shot a video also of us fermenting the vegetables, which you'll see soon. <laughs> I don't work quite as quickly as Doug does. I ended up my late bloomer 100th episode with a big, well, it was three trips, really. Uh, we had a big super bloom in the desert and it only happens about once every 10 years that we get a lot of rain and then the following spring the desert just comes alive with flowers and i remember the one 10 years before and i had kicked myself that i hadn't gone out and actually seen the flowers so i went out by myself three trips to different deserts you know um, within two to three hours of los angeles and checked out all the super blooms. So I'll put the link right up there. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I hope you'll watch it and I hope you like it. So I'll be working this week on the footage that I shot at uh, Doug and Stacy's. And one of the things <laughs> I'm gonna try really hard to do is get a tighter timeline from when I shoot to when I upload, because I run about a week behind and one of the reasons for that is because even though my editor and gra motion graphics and composer went their own way, I hung on to my sound editor because I just love great sound in my videos. And one of the things people really enjoy is the music in my videos. And she edits all that and mixes it and does a totally professional polish on that and that takes depending on her schedule that takes could take a few days so from the time I shoot to the time I upload sometimes it's a week perhaps I only do that once a month so so that I can get more of a, a tighter timeline so there's a lot to think about from my trip and I'm just so grateful I went and you know when you make that step out of your comfort zone 
because traveling alone for me is stepping out of my comfort zone. It, it may not look like that on my channel. I don't want to be sleeping on the ground anymore. <laughs> like I did, I did a year rail trip when I was 25 uh, to Europe for three months and I did a lot of that, <laughs> camping out here and there and no, no. You step outside your comfort zone and you never know what you're going to reap. This time it was just riches that I reaped and I can't wait to uh, share that with you intrinsically and directly through the content. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you to understand my channel better. I wanted to once again welcome all of my new subscribers and say hello to all of my regular subscribers and longtime subscribers and I'm grateful for all of you. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.